Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is really exciting because I'm going to give you an honest and thorough review over obviously the most popular thing right now in the makeup community, which is the Jaclyn Hill palette with a Morphe. If you haven't heard about this thing, I mean, it's been everywhere all over social media for months now. She's been releasing sneak peeks, trend mood, and it finally released on, I think like the 17th of June is June. Yeah, I think it was like the 17th of June. I'm not too sure when, but um, yeah, I'm not an affiliate with Morphe. I have really, I don't have anything to do with Morphe. So it's just gonna be an honest review because I know there's been a lot of drama around like affiliates giving reviews over Morphe products because it comes, sometimes can just lean towards just saying good things because they are affiliates, but um, I don't have any of that. I'm just, just a normal person here purchasing this palette. So if you wanna see swatches, a review, a swatch of every color and my thoughts, then please keep on watching. So I did do this eye look today using the palette. It's just a bunch of um, teal and purples and like one of the uh, matte brown shades. And I was really pleased with this palette, honestly. I used no enhancers for the shimmer shades. The matte shades blended really well. So I'm pretty pleased with it. I do not like these eyelashes at all. And I did not know that when I put them on because it's the first time I put them on. But um, yeah, and I paired it with like a kind of a nude glossy lip. But this is the eye look I came up with. It really was easy for me to play with color in here because everything was so buildable and pigmented that I just kind of builded my way up to the blues and everything like that. So it gave me a little more confidence to create this look and I really like it. So if you want to see a tutorial over it, just let me know. But we'll get on to the package. So I kept the box sitting right here. That way I could just kind of show you what the box looks like if you order it or if you have received it. But this is the box. It is completely white. It matches the palette exactly. It just says the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. And then on the back are some um, pictures of her and then just a little paragraph that she wanted to write to her subscribers whoever ordered this palette, which I really like because she put thought into um, the packaging and not as just of the palette and the quality, but also the packaging of the palette and the box it came in. She put lots of thought in here for her subscribers who've obviously been there since day one and gave her the opportunity to create something like this. And um, you know, I like Jack and Hill. I've watched her for years. I mean, a really long time, ever since I even started watching YouTube way before I even started my channel. So this is really cute and thoughtful and I like how she had fun with the pictures on the back. Now you do get a card when you order the palette. You get like this little card that it does come with. It has a picture of her and an eye look she created. So it's a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. Now available, now available online in stores. And I recently saw a lot of people complaining about how um, the names of the eyeshadows were not in the palette because if you watch Jaclyn Hill's video, kind of like her releasing video on her channel, she stated that every eyeshadow had a name and what it meant and why she created it and how many times she went through to create that single shadow. Well, um, the name bar on the palette, which kind of bothers me, I wish it was, it was a $40 palette after shipping anything like that, but I will have to keep this because the name of the eyeshadow is actually on the back of the card that they give you when you order the palette. I like that they still include the names of the eyeshadows in some way, shape, or form, but I definitely wish that it was in the palette or on the back of the palette or somewhere on the palette. That way I didn't have to keep track of this card because being a YouTuber, it's hard um, to keep track of little things like this with names just because you're always just going through your palettes and just going through your makeup and I'll have to remember not to chunk this. So now getting on to the actual actual palette itself. The front of the palette looks exactly like the box. It has that real pretty kind of silver holographic uh, writing that she wrote her name in. It's white, it says Morphe, it's really sleek, it's really thin. Um, it is a little bigger than the Morphe palette, which I will show you in comparison. And then on the back, when you flip it over, it says Morphe X Jaclyn Hill. And then in really like faint white lettering, it says JH all over it. You probably won't be able to see that. You may be able to, but probably not. But um, I really like the simplicity of the palette. I just like how it's the sleek and chic and it's just really just a simple in design. Now comparable to a normal Morphe palette, this one is a lot bigger. You see the, I have the black palette in front of it and the white palette in the back. It's probably like a good like inch bigger than the normal ones, which that doesn't mind, it doesn't bother me because you get, you know, better shades. There's 38 shades in here. It's just, it's really good quality. But um, yeah, if you haven't seen the inside of this bad boy, we can go ahead and open it up. This is what the inside looks like. It's an eyeshadow palette dream, honestly. If you collect makeup, if you love makeup like I do, this is a dream for you. Um, 
the top right here says this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers xo jacqueline again a really nice thought that she put into the palettes i like it better than a mirror a mirror would have made it more expensive and i just like how it just kind of ties in just the love that she has for the people who have supported her but i mean can we get on board with these eyeshadows seriously so this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like right here i mean it is honestly stunning there's so many mattes so many shimmers pops of color you have your normal transition shades your brow bone highlights it's just it's awesome you have blacks you have um, kind of like camel colors tan colors red colors pinky champagnes reds browns blues teals golds uh gold reflectives kind of like brown golds duochrome you honestly have an assortment in this palette to create endless amounts of looks i chose this one like i said just because it, it just seems fun to play with these two purples and blue shades down here they just really intrigue me but now we will get into swatches of every row so i will insert um little clips of every row of the swatches that i did do and these are just normal one finger swatches rub my finger in one time and swatched it um that's really it i didn't try to over swatch it i didn't under swatch it i just normal swatches so the first row that you have right here you have two really pretty and pigmented kind of like more creamy shades that you can highlight your inner winter corner or your brow bone with you move on to two really pretty brown matte shades that are perfect for the crease or if you just want like a simple just chunk on eyeshadow if you're not trying to do very much you're just trying to you know hurry up and get out of the house those are perfect then you have these real pretty kind of like pinky champagne shades and honestly these three are gorgeous and i just have to say that um i mean they're just they're just stunning they're so reflective they're gorgeous i just have to say though one thing i did notice with her eyeshadows more pertaining towards the shimmer shades once you kind of rub off the top layer and you get actually into the eyeshadow product itself the top layer is a little dry and rough and then you notice as soon as you get through that layer you get to the real creamy center and the shadows really pick up at pigment and quality that is a lot better than the normal morphe shadows like this one is the 35t palette i like it but it doesn't compare to this this is a new formula like she did state but just know the top layer of the shimmers can be a little dry but once you get through that they're amazing but normally it's just one swatch and then it's over but the top row is honestly really pretty it's kind of just like that neutral row that neutral um just kind of shades that tie into any makeup look and then we move on to the second row so the first row was more of like your neutral shades now we're getting into more darker and uh, colorful shades the first color is called creamsicle and this is kind of like that um not camel color but it has a little more of like a yellow and orangey undertone to it and then next to that is butter and pooter and these have more of definitely like a tan shade too they're not as brown they're more of like a deeper tan and they're all creamy the mattes definitely aren't dry like the shimmers when you first touch them the mattes have a nice cream feeling to it they're really different when it comes to a matte formula in my opinion and then the fourth shade in there is pukey and that is like a honestly how she described it a pukey brown shade and this is just really pretty in your crease or your outer v the deep and awful look i mean they're so creamy and very pigmented it's really a beautiful color you could tell in the swatches and the red shade next to it is called hunts there's a really nice red if you're trying to create like a red or brown smoky eye. It's perfect for the crease since it is matte. And then the last two shimmer shades are Firework and Queen. This Queen shade has my heart because it's like the perfect kind of gold reflective shade. I absolutely love it and Firework's just that kind of like nice pop of red color. So that is the second row. The first two shades on the third row are called Obsessed and SNB or SBN, SBN. And these are honestly really pretty. Also, once you get through that layer, it can get really creamy. I mean, that first shade is intense. That would look gorgeous on your inner corner. But they're just real simple shades, kind of like the first two up here, just with a little more punch to them. And then these next two shades right here, it is called Hillster and Roxanne. Roxanne is matte. I believe this one was actually created by um, the founder of Morphe. I could be wrong, but I know in Jacqueline's video, she goes all into detail about it. And then this one is a really kind of pretty dark burgundy shimmer. Really pretty for the fall. And then the last three shades in that row are called jacks buns and cran apple 
They're really pretty. We're getting into more of like those red tones that Jacqueline really likes. This is gonna look gorgeous on Christmas. I, I can't believe I'm thinking about Christmas now, but I mean, we're getting into more of those tones that she really likes and that you really see through, uh, you really see come through on her um, looks on her channel. And then the fourth row, we're getting into some colors and also some more deeper shades. First two are Royalty and Twerk. I used Royalty today on my lower lash line and outer corner, but I did not use Twerk. It's funny she named a shadow twerk. <laughs> Royalty, really pigmented. Like I said, I used it today, really easy to apply. I used no Ma uh, MAC Fix Plus. I used no enhancer whatsoever, just normal eyeshadow uh, brush, just normal way to apply eyeshadow and applied amazingly. So I love that. That blue is stunning. I honestly can't wait to apply that. Next two are Hustle Meeks and 24-7. Three, three shimmers right here, like, I like a lot. My only complaint is 24-7 feels very dry, and it's kind of hard to get a good swatch of it compared to the other two. So that's not honestly the one shadow I have complaints about, but every other shadow seems good. I just think maybe I need to work through that top layer a little bit more. And then the last two in there are Chip and Mocha, and those are two matte shades that you can use to deepen up your crease or outer V, just a another just staple matte shade. And then we're going on the last line right here, we have Pool Party and Jada. Jada was named after I think her cousin, not her cousin or her niece, I believe. I believe it is her niece, not her cousin. I used Pool Party today on my inner corner and I freaking love that shade. And I use Jada in my crease and they're really pretty, they blended really easily. It definitely made it easy to use color because I knew I had full control and could build it up to whatever intensity I wanted to and really control how much pigment pigment went on my eye. Then you have the two shades next to it, which are Diva and Enchanted. These are really, really pretty shades. This matte's very creamy. This one's almost like a duochrome greenish silver brown shade. I love that there's a little bit of like duochromeness throughout these colors. So you're not just getting, you know, one color. You're kind of able to catch a glimpse of like two or three different colors in your eye when you apply it. And the last three shades are Central Park, Soda Pop, and Abyss. These are very normal, traditional, um, staple shades, like I said about other ones. I mean, you have a dark brown, like kind of like a purpley brown, and then a really dark black. I mean, that black is super pigmented or it is going to be great for your lower lash line or your outer V if you're really try to smoke out your eye look. But this is a full palette. I honestly have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the um, shadow quality that she did create. I'm impressed with the shadows in general. Um, besides that one 24-7 shade and then the fact that you kind of have to get through the first layer of the shimmers, I'm really impressed with this palette. I definitely think it's worth the $38 price tag. If you're a beginner in eyeshadow, I think this is great for you because you won't ever have to buy another eyeshadow palette again because this is just completely what you would want or what you would need or maybe what you're looking for. I I am very happy that I did get this. I think it's I think it's gorgeous. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it, especially for travel because it's thin and it has every single color you would need to create anything or to create a very um, colorful or spunky look with. So I'm definitely a fan of this. I wish I could put like this somewhere in here so I could keep the names, but I definitely am a fan of it. It's just those two little nicks that kind of bothered me with the shimmers and um, that one shimmer 24 seven. That's really the only complaint I have about it, but I like the packaging. I love Jacqueline as a person and I really think she put her heart and soul in this palette. That's why it took two years to release because she wanted it to be perfection, but the shimmer still irritate me just a little bit, but oh well, I can look past it because I like this palette. If you have a thousand eyeshadow palettes, you know, in your collection though, these shadows aren't something, you know, amazing or unique. They're really good formula, they're really pigmented, they're really easy to blend, but there's a lot of eyeshadow palettes out there that have like the same kind of colors in here. My Lorac Mega Pro 3, I think it is like the Los Angeles one, has a lot of these like second row shades and you know, those kind of more deep, uh, browns, those lighter browns, tanner browns, like it has a lot of those in it minus the real bright pops of color. So it's really kind of up to you. Um, I feel like every eyeshadow palette nowadays has colors like this in it. It's just, I feel like this palette has them all in one convenient palette. You can really create a full look with this palette and, and using any spunks of color. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, if you want a tutorial over this look, let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, that is my 
full honest review over this bad boy you will see it in lots of videos in the future i'm sure because i love that palette so much and i cannot wait to get more use about it and create more look especially as fall starts approaching more it really uses deep burgundy shades reds and browns they're going to be gorgeous so i will link the palette down below i believe it's sold out right now but they're supposed to be a restock so I would definitely get on like the email list and wait and see. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye y'all.